with the holiday season. Uh, it's so busy, and then the kids will be on break soon. It's a great time to connect. Jim Higley is here with some fun, easy ideas for all of you dads and moms alike to create memories with kids using simple things you can find at the hardware exactly. store. I love this. It doesn't this. get any easier than that. Yeah, we're all busy. So today, we're going to repurpose a mailbox into a memories mailbox for kids. You want to learn how to do I, it? Let's do it. Okay, so take a plain old mailbox mm -hmm. from the hardware store, decorate it any way you want, mm -hmm. and the key to this thing is to put it somewhere where your child's going to see it on a daily basis, outside their bedroom, in the kitchen or something, and on a regular basis mm -hmm. through the holidays mm -hmm. or throughout the year, put things in there that are not gifts, but things to create memories. One of the greatest things to create memories for kids are things to teach them about your family, your family history. Mm -hmm. Kids who know their family history actually have a stronger sense of self-esteem. So here's three, three really great ideas that I think will be fun. One is to, that I already have in the, in the mailbox is to include some old family pictures mm -hmm. from grandma, grandpa, some old family heirlooms. Talk family history. Tell stories. Stop and kids, tell stories. How, they we love forget that. to do that. Kids, they so love do that. that. We just lost my, my wonderful Uncle Jack, who was a card player. Mm -hmm. So, you know, teach kids about how many kids don't know how to play card games. Mm -hmm. So find an old game that an old relative maybe used to play and make that the, the activity for the day. Create a memory. My absolute favorite one, my kids never knew their, their grandma, my mm -hmm. mother. She was a great baker. So I pulled out one of her old recipes, sugar cookies. That was her old standby mm -hmm. for all of us. So here's another great idea. Pull a recipe out or make up a recipe. It doesn't matter. Find a right. close, close thing and cook because when you cook, Mm -hmm. You can tell your kids history. You can talk about those stories. So those are three three ways to integrate family history into memories. And they'd love to hear about your memories as a child. What they you do. you know you experience baking cookies with your you know your mother. They for, they forget that you were, we are all little. Right. Don't they? Right. So, yeah. So these uh, these are really fun things to do. That doesn't and they're the activities you can just integrate into your mm -hmm. day. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Now. You can do Much things. more precious than a gift. This is 100%. great. 100%. They will remember that. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could ignite some, some, some unlit fires that the kids have. Mm -hmm. If you're a reader or if your kid's even not a reader, take one of their favorite books here, I've Got Good Night Mood, mm -hmm. and I took some, some paint sticks and some paint chips from the hardware store, and I created little puppets for the good night, my, good night mood. The red balloon, the telephone, the cow jumping over the moon. I love that. And again, you don't we have to be good. We all have this one memorized, so right. we don't even need a book. And you, can you don't just have act to be good at it. You don't, have to be, right. you don't have to be beautiful. They have to be fun and mm -hmm. do them with your child. Or maybe you can ignite kind of a, a science interest in your kid. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't know so much. Go to the library, get online, find some experiments you can do at home, and just play with your child. We forget to play. Get off the iPad. Stop Absolutely. watching TV and video games. Yeah. Have a science experiment right. while they're home. That's great. Now, you know I love crafts. So, I know you do. I, You're so, great at them. You're so, so impressive. So, okay, so here's, here's kind of a twist to integrate some crafts into these memories as well. You know, we talk about gift boxes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Here's gift buckets. So I've just taken some, some galvanized buckets from the mm -hmm. hardware store. Kids can paint them. You can go to the drugstore, fill them with fun stuff, some, some supplies for beauty supplies, mm -hmm. some games, card games, Dove Men Plus Care products for dad to make him mm -hmm. feel luxurious and stuff. But then here's the key part. Have your kids put some personal stuff in here. Here's some necklaces that we made out of plain old washers. Mm -hmm. And the kids can paint them with just craft paint. Craft paint. That's, and that's it. it. And these, you can see, they're not fancy, but actually, I think they're quite nice. They're cute. My daughter said they could be great keychains. And, and great teacher's gifts. Wonderful, that's aren't they? Yeah. You can get something wonderful. Personal that... Wonderful. Here's another kind of silly one. I took some old hinges, painted mm -hmm. them, just spray painted them, mm -hmm. and let the kids put uh, with, again, my old standby, the paint chips, which I always grab a few of them. I love that you find all this right. at the hardware store. You right. just go in there and you're right. inspired, right. aren't you? Totally. I love it. Turn them into some fun picture frames. And then this is a really fun one. We just redid our kitchen a while ago, mm -hmm. I had a bunch of leftover um, granite tiles. Mm -hmm. So give the kids some permanent Sharpie mm -hmm. markers, have them put paint some fun designs on there, bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350. It sounds like I'm baking cookies. Right. And put some felt um, on the back and you've got some really personal coasters for the kids to put in those gift boxes right. and make them go give uh, buckets and make them just really special for the and people I, they love. I think it is so much more fun to create gifts as opposed to going to the store and buying something that they can give to someone, whether it be grandparents or other siblings. Totally. I mean, the whole, the whole name of the game with all of this is to stop in these busy weeks ahead 
ahead mm -hmm. of us and find just a couple nook, nooks and cranny moments with mm -hmm. your kids to, to remember the important things. And a long time ago, when I was a first a dad, someone said, your job is to create memories for your mm -hmm. kids. And you know what? I kind of followed that. Memories of values, memories of happiness, memories, memories of good decisions. So to me, simplify it during the holidays. Create some really good memories and have some fun along I the way. I love it. A lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. You Thank inspire you. all of us. All right. Well, still to come, we visit the Vail Mansion hors d'oeuvres with Lake Cole Culinaire and Giving Tuesday. How about that? I, it's I'm all ahead. That. You're all for that. Yeah. It's all ahead after today's top stories and weather from your 41 Action News team.